Elena Mokova advances to another semifinal. That's the third of her career and the second this year. Serana Kirstea, she is eliminated. That's a tough loss for Serana. I knew Mokova would win the match. It's pretty simple. She's just got more variety. But imagine Serana. I mean, just just imagine going into the biggest match of your life and career and executing a game plan that you're not used to, that you normally don't do. Unbelievable. Imagine, right? Imagine you're a basketball team and you normally play zone defense, right? You're good at just waiting, covering the passing lanes, making your opponents take tough shots and rebounding. But yeah, instead of playing zone, you go into that matchup playing a full court, a full court press and your opponent's just too fast and they're just blowing by you scoring easy points. That's what happened tonight, guys. Good analogy. I hope you like it. Carolina Mukova, too fast. She dominated the Nets. There's no reason her coach should have told her to go to the net. That That's, Serana, pay me half of what you pay him. I'll give you much better advice. That was horrible. It needs to be said. You can't lose like that. But nonetheless, Mukova wins. She'll take on Coco Golf in a rematch of Cincinnati. Now, listen, guys. <laughs> It's funny. Mukova was asked in the post-match interview, are you ready for Coco? What are your thoughts? She said, I just won this match. I don't want to think about that. Give me 10 seconds. Listen, enjoy the win, Mukova. It's going to be a tough match against Coco. You're going to have to serve well if you want to beat Coco. But the problem here is Mukova, she can't baseline with Coco. She's not stronger than Coco. I think Coco's got a top-notch backhand. Mukova's backhand... It's enough to keep her in rallies. I don't think it's enough to really damage opponents and score at will. Mukova does have a little pop on her forehand. I think it can be a little bit more accurate than Coco at times if Coco's rushing. If Coco's patient, now the new forehand that I'm seeing, Coco's using it more of a, a defensive type of forehand. She's using it to keep the ball in the center, and she's not really putting herself in positions where she has to come across the body with it. She's using a lot more slices when she's deep in the corners with the forehand, defensive slices, which is pretty smart. So she's not forcing the issue like she was before. Uh, Mukova has good two-way play. The problem with that is, like I told you the last prediction where I told you to take Coco to win Cincinnati, the problem is Mukova, she tries to go to the net against Coco and Coco just hits passing shots because Coco is faster than her. She's a lot faster than uh, Mukova and she does have a lot more doubles experience than Carolina. So that's going to be a tough matchup and she knows it. She, she said she, she doesn't want to think about that right now because she knows when you're an athlete and you're playing someone, you know, is tough. You, you know what to expect, right? So if we take a look guys at the, the matchup in Cincinnati here, Mukova can't really baseline with Coco. Coco's a little too stronger. But when she comes towards the net, Coco's hitting passing shots, and Mukova's just watching them pass by. Good hug at the net. Coco won Cincinnati. Will she make her first ever U.S. Open final? Coco said this is her favorite tournament to play in. I see Coco winning Wimbledon a few times in her career, but she said the U.S. Open is her favorite. Tennis in a minute. Who wins, Mukova or Coco?